A big thanks to Bernhard for sponsoring this episode. Surprise your friends and family with this innovative dish. It's juicy and tender and packed full with flavor. I know, you made it all. Pulled pork, ribs, all the good barbecue stuff. And now you're doing it over and over again and your friends and family are trying to say like, I hope he doesn't show up with these ribs again. Not that they're not good, but every time they come to your house, they get your ribs. And sometimes they want something new, something different, something innovating. And that's what this is. Yes, it's a heap of poor meat. But let's take a closer look because this is the pork hammer. It doesn't look like it right now, but this is something that I already put a lot of effort in. Basically, it's the knuckle. And if you imagine this with the skin on, you might recognize it. So I went to my butcher and I asked him if we could together make some pork hammers. And he showed me this piece of meat and he opened it up, cut out the second bone because there are two bones in here, the main bone and the smaller bone. And it was sitting inside here and he cut it open and then I ended up with this. And I said, well, yeah, that's a bit easy. Of course, you can lay this up with flavor, tie it up again, and then you'll end up with the beef hammer again. But you still have this weird part of the bone. So I did two things to change it. Step one is I cut the top part off. So we end up with this beautiful sawed bone. And then I asked the butcher to take out that second bone, which sits in there. So that came out and all we have is our main bone and the meat and that's our pork hammer now let's start cooking these are big hunks of meat so i want to start by putting on a lot of flavor for that i'm going to use my pitmaster x classic barbecue rub recipe i put a link to the recipe down below in the video description and to give it an extra touch, I'm also going to add a tablespoon of curry powder. And when you mix that all up, it looks like this. Now I want to do some prepping on the pork hammer. Before I want to put that rub on, I'm going to take off these big blobs of fat. And I'm also going to detach the meat from the bone only on the top part of the pork hammer. Once that's done, it's time to put Pitmaster X Classic Barbecue Rub on. Sprinkle on a heavy coat and paint the pork orange. Time to fire up our Bernard smoker. This thing is freaking awesome and it fits a lot of meat. I got my grill grade cleaned up, ready to go. And now all I need to do is load it up with these pellets. I'm gonna use some strong hickory pellets. This is gonna give me a lot of flavor on these pork hammers. Look at these beauties, so gorgeous. I'm gonna set them straight up on the grill grate, side by side, smoke it together. That's a beautiful sight. Let's close the lid and let them smoke at a temperature of 120 degrees Celsius. Now I'm gonna show you how to make my sweet apple barbecue sauce. I already made this for you when we smoked the pork tenderloins, but it's so easy to do because all you need is a cup of ketchup, a quarter cup of apple juice, a tablespoon of Worcester sauce, half a tablespoon of fresh ground black pepper, a tablespoon of Pitmaster X's classic barbecue rub that we just made, a tablespoon of honey, and three tablespoons of cane sugar. I'm gonna let that come up to a boil, and I wanna see a slow syrupy bubble. Once that's done, and all of the sugar crystals are dissolved, your sauce is ready. A pork ham has been smoking for two hours. They build up a beautiful, nice and dry crust. And if you look at the meat on top, you can see the pinkish color, which let you know this meat has picked up some smoke flavor. Now it's time to pack these beauties up. So I'm taking some butcher's paper, adding some butter, two tablespoons of our homemade Pitmaster X sweet apple barbecue sauce, and then I'm gonna wrap it up and tie it up and place them back on the Bernard smoker. The pork hammers have been on for three hours and then they hit a core temperature of 92 degrees Celsius. And then I turned off the smoker and let them sit and now they're around 70 degrees Celsius, which is a more reasonable temperature to eat them. And now we're going to take it out of the package. I'm so curious to see what it looks like. And imagine putting this on a plate like this, like a package, like a present. And then unboxing it at the table to find your own 
Korg Hammer Package. Wow, this thing looks absolutely amazing. So many different colors. Pink from the smoke, we got that dark brown from the caramelization. And this screams at me, eat me. I'm just getting that amazing smell from sweet pork. It's just, woo. And of course, we got the bone sticking out. And look at that, dripping with juices. Well, that is insane. And by cooking it to a temperature of 92 degrees Celsius, it's almost like it's a brisket type of texture, but oh, look at the pull away from the bone. Clean off that bone. And that's part of the resting process. It becomes so tender, so clean. And look at this. Well, I can't fully shred it up because then I would have to go to 92 degrees Celsius. Then you would have pulled pork, but oh boy, this is tender. Juice is running all over this thing, packed full with flavor. Absolutely gorgeous. And this isn't even the best part. This is one of the inner parts. The best part is on the outside here on the crust. Look at that, falling apart, all those flavors. Juicy, tender. This is pork extravaganza. Oh man, I want to taste that crust. Like since it was smoking, I wanted to taste that crust. I saw that crust develop and I thought, it can be a hell of a crust. Mm. You get all of those different types of flavor, but at some point you're gonna go apple. Mm. While we were waiting on this to be finished, who told me that this was like, can I say it? A sort of the, por the brisket of pork, right? I think that brisket is gonna have a problem. And when you think like, that's it, he's just got a piece of meat, no, 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 I can dip it in the juice. And remember, that's butter, barbecue sauce, and the juices from the meat. It's so, there's so much flavor, so much smoked flavor. Like, it brings back that feeling of eating smoked ham that's still warm for the first time. It's like, ah, oh, it just makes me really happy, and you gotta try this. I'm gonna get another piece and dip it into. This is the best sauce. Okay, let me start by thinking, by thinking what I'm saying. I'm saying, but I'm saying what I'm thinking. Yeah. There we go. I'm gonna say, yeah. what if you would make birra tacos out of this? Dip in that. <laughs> oh! Yeah, that's what I was, I was yeah, like, because, dip it in the juice, yeah. put it on the grill, put the shred up the pork, and just nothing. Just oh. only the, 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 the wanna, tortilla uh, leaves, oh, the man, meat, gonna be the juice, great. grilling. Yeah, but who says that birria tacos should be beef? Or like for the purist here. Uh, Comment down below uh, if you think that, that and that's a even, must. And even if they say that it's a must. I don't care. Exactly. I'm still gonna do it, but I wanna know if this is, is this legal? Mm. I don't care. Almost reached, well, we might have reached um, against Book of World Records smoking. I'm looking oh. at smoking. <laughs> I'm I thought you're looking no, at me. No, 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 I'm looking at smoking. <laughs> I think this is Guinness Book of World Records. It does look pretty good. It does look really, really, really and good. And that is made on a pellet smoker, just so you know. Just so you know. I'm okay. gonna head out. Yes, and thank you and the patrons for watching this video. Hope to see you guys next time. Until then, eat smakelijk and don't forget to watch the next video. Ta-da!